What time is it? It's science time! I am going to show you one of the coolest things I've been working on. It's called an inertia walker. I've got this ramp here that I built out of a cardboard box that we had here at the house. And then I have this rectangular prism thing and I'm gonna show you what it does. So if I hold this here and I let go, <laughs> I've got another one, let's try this one. That was awesome. And you're probably wondering, how does that thing work? Well, it's all about inertia. All right, let's clean this up and let's build one together. My inertia walker, this here, it's powered by one simple thing, this metal steel ball. It's actually really heavy, it has a lot of mass to it. And what happens is when this ball is rolling down that ramp, the ball wants to keep going because an object in motion wants to stay in motion. But what we're trying to do is harness the power of that ball and because the ball is going from one side to the other side, it's actually causing that inertia walker to flip over, over and over and over. Now you can build an inertia walker using the template that we have at DIY Science Time or you can build one from scratch using paper towel rolls, some egg carton pieces and some tape. It's totally up to you and they all work in different ways. That's half the fun is using the engineering design process to figure it out. I'm going to use my newest and latest design right here. So as you can see here on this design, we have these little tabs and these tabs are going to allow me to fold the paper over and kind of help me keep it in place while I tape it. Then we're going to put the steel ball inside before we tape it up. All right, so we have our inertia walker built. Now really quickly before I bring the ramp back out, you can see that this iteration is much more narrow and I'm hoping that this allows the steel ball to literally just roll back and forth and will allow our walker to walk more straight down the ramp. All right, let's give it a try. Let's get our ramp back out. All right, we've got our ramp set up and we are ready to test the latest and greatest DIY science time inertia walker. Here we go. In three, two, one. Success! Onto the ground! Onto the ground! That was awesome! The coolest thing is if you start using it and you're like, oh, I wanna change some things, make changes to it. That's what this is all about. Building on each other's understanding and making something better than it originally was. That's the whole piece to the engineering design challenge. The engineering design process allows me to take something that I started with like this where I took a piece of cardboard, a paper towel tube, egg carton pieces, some tape, and then I glued on salt to make it have more friction and resistance so that it actually walks down the ramp just like that. Have some fun, make some changes, modify it, enjoy, and most importantly, get moving because an object in motion always stays in motion. Thanks for being part of our crew today and checking out this short clip from DIY Science Time. If you like this clip and you wanna see more exciting science, check out the full versions right here on the channel. Be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more exciting DIY Science Time.